Well, we finally cleared the backlog, so it's finally back. Welcome to the Sunday Show. Hey guys, Mio Superstar, thank you very much for tuning in. It's Sunday! You know what that means, you guys requested it, you guys keep requested it and keep wanting it to be made, so it's back. The new and improved Sunday show where I talk where I talk to you about stuff every single Sunday. Every single Sunday! The Sunday show. Uh, I'm just calling it the Sunday show. I, you know, I, people have asked me to call it the Super Sorrel Sunday show, the Super Super Sunday show. The, we've had all sorts of weird SSSS names. But we're just going to go with the Super Sunday Show, or Sunday Show. <laughs> so guys, I'm your host, Super Sol. As always, thank you very much for tuning in. I apologise about the video I put up online yesterday, first of all. I was in a very weird place. My mind isn't... Uh, lockdown's getting to me, I think. And I was, um, yeah, I was like th over overthinking the channel. And I was wondering, I, I kind of got myself in this mindset of, I think I need two channels. And I was like, why do I need two toy channels? And it... A lot of you said the same thing, which was, well, the same people are going to subscribe to this channel, they might subscribe to the other channel, but they might not, so you'll just end up with one audience here and half an audience elsewhere, and most of you apparently tune in for all the videos anyway, so I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so apologies in advance about that weird video yesterday, but thank you, thank you to each and every one of you that did comment and give us some feedback and all that good stuff, it really did help. So thank you very much, and it got me back on track and back on the mindset of we just need to have a schedule. <laughs> so with that in mind, later on this evening you'll see a separate video go live. It's going to be called um, "What's Happening Next Week on Super Sorrel." Title name in progress. <laughs> need a new name for that video. <laughs> you know, what's happening weekly or something? I'll call it something funny. And basically, you guys will see seven days in advance of videos of what's coming up on the channel right through to the next Sunday show. So every week we'll have the Sunday show on a Sunday, as you know, and we're going to have certain videos on certain days, so you might see that we'll have a, like an action figure review on the Monday, a vlog on the Tuesday, a haul on the Wednesday, and we'll switch it up. I'll switch up each week so it's not the same days doing the same things, but every video will be going live at 4pm UK time. That is my new upload time, 4pm UK time. Except the Sunday show, which goes live at 11 a.m. <sighs> we'll get there. <laughs> so stay tuned. That video will be going live later on, just to show you guys a little bit more about what's going to be happening on the channel. So guys, as you know, I was very humbled this week. I was able to take part in a massive, massive release, which was um, for Mastermind as a part of the Hellfire Club. And I was very excited to have that figure, but sadly, I've had to return him to Hasbro. So here's a little bit of footage of me returning him and getting upset, uh, and also being excited that I had him in the first place. So, uh, roll clip! Do you think anyone will notice if I just kind of add him here and never send him back? Do you think anyone will notice? I don't think they will. Hasbro, I'm sorry, he's, I've, I've, I've taken him. He's mine. He's mine. You can have him. You cannot have him back. He's mine! <laughs> Sadly, this is the last video we'll be able to create with him. As he is going back to Hasbro now. <sighs> Safe journeys across the ocean, my friend. Back across the pond, your owners. <laughs> we'll see you again in the future. So, as this is a UK based show, and all our, all our American cousins like the Foosh and that do their sort of like Foosh Weekly and things like that. This is our equivalent here in the UK, and so let's talk about what's in our stores, what's in stores here on our little humble shores. And the best thing I can find this week is that the entertainer, or the toy shop, <laughs> it goes by many names, the toy shop, the one, that sh the one that's closed on Sunday, mm, my day off of the week and it's always shut. But on their website right now, they do have the Marvel Legends um, wave of figures from the television series stuff. Uh, so the MCU, uh, US Agent, Loki, uh, then we have um, Winter Soldier and uh, Baron Zemo. They're the ones that are currently live. They did have um, Vision, the white Vision, but he has since sold out. And Wanda is still yet to come along with Falcon. It seems we've had <clears throat> another split wave from Hasbro here. 
and that's the reason for the delay. But has but 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 the, but the toy store do have them in before Smiths this time. Smiths normally get the waves split and have them in store first. Looks like Entertainer is beating them to the punch. So right now, as of recording this video, right now, US Agent, Loki, Baron Zemo, and Winter Soldier are currently all showing on the website, brand new, in stock, right now, add to basket, go buy them, 20 quid a piece. Not bad, really. So, let's talk some toy news. <laughs> some toy news this week, guys. We do have the Major Blood has been re-released on Hasbro Pulse after their little G.I. Joe, Yo-Jo. I don't know why they call it Yo-Jo when, isn't it? it don't, don't they shout? No, they've been shouting, sorry. Clarify, stop, rewind, repeat. They've been shouting Hey Joe on their webcast and stuff, but isn't it Yo-Jo or Go-Jo or... Anyway... G.I. Joe, Cobra Island, they've re-released the major blood figure, the one that sold out in about six seconds on in-demand toys and many other websites. So I'm glad that it's back in stock, because I've managed to pick, pick myself one up, along with pre-ordering uh, the new Roadblock. So very happy about that. We found out that the uh, lovely figure that I released, bear in mind I had no information at the time, I did not know this was going down, but they are making it a part of a Wolverine and Foes box set. Hmm... Annoyingly, I don't want any of the figures from that set. <laughs> I just want Mastermind because I revealed Mastermind and I'm a big X-Men buff. But I'm not too bothered for the other figures in the range. I don't need another Omega... Uh, anyway, <laughs> we'll leave that for another day. But yes, Amazon, that is an Amazon exclusive. We are still waiting on UK information as to when that, big, when that box set is going to be going live here in the UK. But I suppose we'll find out that pretty soon. I have reached out to Hasbro UK for a comment. So hopefully we'll have something next week to be able to share with you about the UK release. McFarlane's Toys did also give us a little preview of their, of their Batman 60s, uh, 60s color collection. This little, this little launch the other day, it came out, well it leaked out as we're saying. And then they released it uh, where it shows Batman, the Boy Wonder and Joker from the 1960s Adam West Batman TV series. I'm excited about that. We have had some 1960s Bat Batman stuff before, but I'm happy that they're gonna you know, remake it with, with McFarlane's, because McFarlane's toys are very detailed. Can't wait to see what, see what they do with that line. SH Figure Arts have given us a new Harley Quinn from the new uh, from the new movie. I nearly said Birds of Prey. It's not Birds of Prey. The Birds of Prey was up there and it's off. I don't like it. <laughs> this is the new one for the new Suicide Squad. And this is her more comic booky regular attire. Uh, it looks awesome, and I will definitely be pre-ordering that because she looks amazing. However, McFarlane's also got to give us a little sneak peeky roo at what they're doing for Bert of the keep saying Birds of Prey for <laughs> Suicide Squad as well. And they're giving us a very comic book almost appearance version of King Shark. Can't wait for that, along with many of the other characters. I actually can't wait to see John Cena in that role because John Cena will play a very anti-Captain America. I was very surprised actually that John Cena wasn't even in the running to play the US agent in Marvel because I would have loved to have seen that because I think he could have played a very gr a, you know, gritty role given the opportunity. <clears throat> Plus the fact that he's always played the Captain America kind of part on WWE anyway. It would have been nice to see him play a darker version of Captain America where he finally gets to be a heel. Anyway, toy news aside, let's do some shout outs. The first shout out this week. <laughs> first shout out this week goes to the Mad Hoovian. He wanted to share with us this awesome photo that he's taken of his Night King. Cool, dude, really like it. Second shout out of the day. <laughs> the MCU Marvel Legends collector want to share with us his awesome collection here as well. This is just an overview of all these cabinets full of figures. Very cool, very envious of your little cabinet display. I just have an open plan kind of thing going on. But yeah, very cool Dettol display, I like that. And if you want to get yourself a shout out next week on this video guys, all you've got to do is reach out to us on Instagram, that's where I'm most active these days. So please do give me a hashtag at SuperSorrel or at SuperSorrel, you can contact me directly via me you know, via the, uh, the messaging service over there and send us pic you know, pictures through, videos, whatever you want to send us of your collection, of any, any action figure photography you've done or any toy art, or even if you've just done fan art for the channel here, I'd always appreciate it. So anything you want to send through to me or share with us, please do it on social media. Using the phrase, at SuperSorrel, using hashtag SuperSorrel, or hashtag SuperSundayShow, and I'll pick those up. 
Speaking of toy photography, I've not done that much in the last few weeks as it's been very warm. I've been struggling. Obviously, you guys know I've got my prosthetic leg. I've been struggling like crazy um, with it this last few weeks. It's been rubbing. It's been hurting. I've fallen out of the damn thing twice. So I've been in a little bit of agony. So I've not been able to get off my bum and go do some actual photography. However, yesterday in the garden, I used the washing line and I actually did a very nice shot of our good friend, the Plastic Patroller. And I want to share that photo with you guys here, so check it out. So what's coming up this week, guys? Hasbro have got another live for us. It's, coming, it's going to be called I Am Your Father's Day. This is a fan first Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, fan first Wednesday. It's on Wednesday, the 9th of June um, at their usual time. So we'll see what Father's Day <laughs> inspired merch they have for us coming out for pre-order. I'm guessing it's going to be some Luke and some Vader stuff if it's called I Am Your Father's Day. But who knows? It could be anything. Uh, I'm quite excited to see what they announce. Uh, I always love some new Star Wars news. So very happy to be discussing Star Wars on the channel again. Hopefully get some new stuff on pre-order. I'd like it one, if one, one time they did one of these live streams where the stuff was already ready to go. And they could just ship it straight out from Hasbro Pulse. That would be amazing. But, you know, dream is dream. I'm not so, I'm not sure, not so, I'm not so, I am so. I'm not sure if you saw my video earlier this week, but Oro is now in store. The brand new Jazzwares figure from Fortnite has reached our little shores, and he is available at your local B&M, and apparently Tesco's have got him in as well, both selling him for £20. He comes with many, 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 many different guns and things, his back bling and all the good stuff. So check out my review of him and see if you want to pick one up for yourself. Again, B&M and Tesco are stocking this figure now here in the UK. Somebody early in the week did ask me, and I do apologize, I didn't, I didn't, I can't remember the name of the person that asked me, I'm really sorry. But people have been asking me about the Toy Box collection from Disney, and whether or not um, the Marvel Legends figures sometimes fit on them. Well, I can say that on the Spider Bike at least, uh, we've managed to fit Spider Gwen in, and she sits comfortably in the actual vehicle. And she looks pretty good actually on there. So you can fit Spider Gwen into the little spider bike. Just an FYI. The smaller figures like Spider Gwen, Spider Man, Miles Morales, the smaller figures tend to fit in the vehicles um, okay. Not the best, but they do fit. So just a quick FYI. Uh, I will remember the name next time, I'm sorry. Pop in a box, managed to successfully deliver my new Sam Pop. I'm very happy I've took him out. I've taken him out of the box and he's been on display now for a few days. He's the special edition Sam as well. He's got the chocolate bar razor blade and he's very cool. Still available right now on Pop in a Box website for £12. Go grab one. And finally, guys, if you did see my Disney box unboxing this week from Florida, you will see that we did we did, we did actually get some new holocrons. So I now have, sorry, holocrons, kyber crystals. So I now have a green kyber crystal. I now have the yellow kyber crystal and the white kyber crystal. So we're going to be doing a review of the um, Jedi holocron this week. And I've got three kyber crystals to use in it. Very excited. Plus, you guys know, yellow is my color. This is the kyber crystal that speaks out to me from the force and I will be using when I build my lightsaber at Savvy's Workshop in Orlando, Florida, hopefully this coming March. It does have a little uh, thing so you can attach it to a, it's got like a little hole through thing, so you can attach it to a chain, and my plan was, I know, it, I know this is geeky, but I'm going to wear this on a chain around my neck, all the way to Orlando. It's like a pilgrimage for me as a Star Wars fan. I'm very excited. I'll wear that around my neck until I can officially put it inside my lightsaber. So I'm very excited to be go, going doing that. And yeah, Jedi Holocron review coming up this week. Again, I'll speak more about that when we do the announcement video later on this afternoon. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this week. This is the first one back as all. And uh, you guys know now, reach out. This video will be going live every single Sunday. Every single Sunday. And if you want to be involved, Make sure you reach out to us. These videos will get longer in time as we start going outside, venturing to car boot sales and things like that, and going outside again as the lockdown comes to an end this coming month. Very excited about that. And uh, we can finally go out and do things, and I can take you guys places. And plus, I'll start pre-recording footage like I did earlier in this episode, where like if things happen during the week and things, I can pre-film that ready for this video. 
But guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel. If you enjoyed this video, leave us some comments down below. I try and respond to each and every single comment. And if you're new around here, subscribe. Subscribing really supports this channel. It really helps us out. I don't have a Patreon. I don't ask for memberships. And I don't ask you to join. All I ask you to do is use the free subscribe option. And I get my, my kickback is from the advertisement revenue. That's how it should be. Uh, I don't expect any more from you, so please subscribe, as that's my only form of revenue. But guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, may the force be with you. I need to go charge my clicker now. Bye! <laughs>